If you guys are looking to host an uncertain server, Modern Hosting currently are doing a Black Friday sale. If you guys are interested to get yourself 40% off, use the code 40 Black Friday. The link will be in the description below. All right, hey everybody, Liam this game here, and welcome back to another episode of Unturned. Today we're going to be talking about what Unturned console players need. We're going to be talking about several topics that are on the PC version and aren't on the console version, but we really need them on console. We're going to be talking about stuff that currently in the game, it's kind of weird not having it. You guys will see what I'm talking about when, we're, when we start. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like these, make sure to drop a like. We're almost at 12.2k subs. Um, drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about these topics we're gonna talk about, if you agree or disagree. And if you guys have any more items like these that we need on the console version, let me know as well. Maybe we'll make a part two. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so the first topic we're going to talk about is the group system. On console, especially on multiplayer servers, the group system doesn't exist. In PC, it's one of the most important things to be in a group. For example, if you're in a team of two and you are building a base, you would need to be in the same group so that both of the players in that group can open like lockers and doors inside your base. This is very, very important because from what I've heard on console, you can't. there is no group. And when people are building a base, they're sharing a base, they would need to do their own separate doors, their own separate lockers. And it sucks because if you are, you know, if you're new and you are you only have a small base, you and one of them can't get inside the base. I, I don't understand why they didn't do that. I don't think it's a hard thing to add. But yeah, currently one of the most important things that should be added in console is a group system. I don't know if maybe um, the developers might watch this video. Please add that. It's very, very important. And I know that a lot of people are struggling with it. So if you could add that, that would be very, very epic. All right, so the second topping is the search. Now, in a lot of things, we have to spend a really long time trying to find something, whether it's we're trying to cheat something in, obviously how the IDs are, you start from one and it keeps going up. But if you don't know, for example, the ID for a spec ops truck sack and it's something that you want, you would need to literally search from one until you get to that number. It would be cool if there would be like a search and you just type spec ops and all of the items listed with spec ops are there. You know, this helps obviously not wasting a lot of time looking for one specific item. The same can go on for crafting. If you don't know where, the, like if you are building a pine base and you want a pine floor, literally you would need to go to the very bottom to find this. But if you could type F, all the items start with F, which is probably floor only floor would show up first. Also, this can be in the skin menu. The skins right now, everything is from alphabetical order. And if you want a maple strike skin, you would need to go from A to M. And if you want a specific mythical, for example, you want a, a burning maple strike, you would literally need to find, you need to go through every single mythical, not knowing which one it is, and you would need to find burning. If you could just type burning maple strike, for example, that would just show up instantly. So, search bar is very, very important. This can go on for other items as well, but currently those are the most important things that we need. So the third thing that we really need to be fixed is updates. Yesterday, apparently there was an update and people told me, I didn't play on console for the past couple of days, but people did tell me that there was an update that broke the game. I hope that this got fixed but um, I'm guessing that they didn't check when the update happened. They didn't check if it broke anything. Something that <laughs> something that is really like, kind of funny, but not at the same time. Um, some people apparently did get their game broken, but others didn't. So it would be cool if when an update is released, they make sure that nothing is broken. This can happen to any game, to be honest, but something important. This is literally the second update that came out on the console, and we've already had game breaking bugs so um yeah next we're going to talk about the price now a lot of people have been telling me the price for unturned console is very very expensive i understand why they do 25 bucks because first of all you get gold for free and you get all the skins for free but i feel like the game is very expensive i've seen people talk about this everywhere 
and it would be cool that for example either you could get the game for free if you have playstation plus or xbox um plus i don't know what it's called on xbox but i know that j swex talked about this and i completely agree with him if you guys haven't watched that video i recommend to go check it out and yeah the game needs to be cheaper i understand why they did 25 bucks but if it's cheaper then that is much much better the game would blow up much more the game would become much more famous and uh, yeah maybe in the future it'll become cheaper but for now 25 bucks i feel like it's way too much next another thing that we don't have which is very very important is that single player worlds they don't save every time you restart your playstation or xbox single player doesn't sa save i've seen people talk about this and complain about it you spend all day working and grinding to build something, a base, or getting loot on single player, and the next day everything is gone. It's, it's, I don't know why they did it like this, I'm guessing they didn't do it intentionally, but it needs to be fixed ASAP. A lot of people are losing all of their progress, and obviously, after you lose all of your progress, you get discouraged, you don't want to continue. I know I didn't, for example, I used to play single player, we built a base, and then the next day everything vanished. I didn't go to do it. I didn't go to do it again. So hopefully that will be fixed. Next item we're going to talk about is game modes. I would love it. Maybe this isn't really a game breaking thing, but something that I feel like console would make it much more fun is more game modes, primarily being arena. I don't feel like arena is something that you would need uh, mods or plugins to do it. Just normal vanilla arena, third person, no max skills or any of that. And I feel like Arena could be a lot of fun. It's not something complicated, but maybe it'll be added in the future. I know that modding on console is pretty much impossible, but I, I really wish that we get more game modes, primarily being Arena. Maybe in the future we'll get more, but yeah, maybe Arena will come out. I know that I have a lot of fun playing Arena on PC and on console, I definitely will be playing it. Uh, so yeah. So the final topic we're going to talk about is the option to change controls. Currently, everybody knows to pick something up you would need is the same button as to jump. So if you are just jumping around randomly um, while picking up items, especially on a PvP server, you might get yourself killed. You're trying to pick up stuff, but then you accidentally jump. As soon as you jump, you get shot by a timber wolf. So it would be really cool if you could change controls for jumping for literally everything, because even flying planes and helicopters is apparently very very complicated um so if this could be changed i would really really appreciate it it would make the game much easier to do and you know binding other keys for example on pc we can do this binding other keys to you know how your preferences would be would be very very helpful and you know game, make the game much more fun well all right guys that's gonna be it for this video i really hope you enjoyed if you guys have any more topics that you want me to talk about and if you guys have any more game game breaking items that need to be added or changed just let me know in the comment section below i will look into them and uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye